As she broke her silence on Sven Goran Eriksson's loss, his former mistress paid respect to the former England manager. For the first time since Eriksson's 76 year old death from pancreatic cancer last month, Faria Alam made a comment, wishing him well on the other side. Before joining the FA as a secretary in 2003, Alam was a model for the national team under Eriksson's coaching tenure. The six month romance between the two ended when Eriksson started dating Italian attorney Nancy Dell'Olio. However, Alam recently revealed in her remarks that she reconnected with Eriksson 10 years later after accepting his invitation to a meeting in Hong Kong. Alam said that the Swedish football manager had influenced her life and said she was sorry about how their relationship ended. I just wanted to rest in peace and see you on the other side if we ever meet, she said to the reporter. Your soul never dies. Your body deteriorates and dies. His spirit will live on forever. I pray that his soul continues to survive, especially in his kids. It certainly does. I would like to extend my sincere sympathies to his partner and family. Alam lost her job with the FA after their affair was made public, and Erickson acknowledged that he had left her hung out to dry. Alam filed complaints against the Football Association in October 2024, alleging sexual harassment, unjust dismissal, and contract violations. These allegations were dismissed in September 2005 by an industrial tribunal. Alam currently resides in Kirkland, Washington, which is close to Seattle, and works for the fashion brand Gucci. It was also disclosed that Ulrika Johnson, a Swede, and Ericsson had an affair. Alam claimed that although reports at the time suggested the England manager was in the midst of this amazing marriage or whatever, she chose not to become involved with Ericsson until she was certain Del Olio was not living with him. Though calm and collected, she said, Ericsson was a very passionate man and the complete reverse of his cold facade. I told him I loved him because I did, she remarked, and I know he loved me because he said so. I hope that in the end, people will acknowledge that he was a good man, but not everyone will. After she emailed him in 2014, the pair hadn't spoken in 10 years. The former England manager contacted her and extended an invitation to visit Hong Kong, she claimed. I suppose all he wanted to do was see me. She remembered, I didn't go, but we spoke very fondly to each other about how we felt. Erickson's funeral was held in Frixande Church in his hometown of Torsby, and over 600 people attended. Erickson's partner Yanisef Alcides, former England captain David Beckham, and lover Del Olio were among those who paid their respects. Following Erickson's funeral procession, Del Olio paid a moving tribute to him. When you love someone and they go, part of your life is gone forever she said to reporters. I will miss our affection for one another, as well as our lovely trips. Ericsson, who had before led Italian team Lazio to the Serie A championship, captained England for five years. In both the 2002 and 2006 World Cups, as well as the 2004 Euro Final Eight, he led England to the quarterfinals. He managed Mexico, Manchester City, and Leicester City after leaving the national team. Ericsson's kids also honored their brave dad by expressing gratitude to everyone who contributed to making good memories during his cancer fight. At his house in Bjorkfors, the Swede, who had stated that he had best case a year to live after receiving his diagnosis in January, passed away this morning accompanied by his family. After his son's unexpected death, his 95-year-old father, Sven Ericsson Sr., remarked, It's tough, it is. However, that is the reality. Svenny's was permitted to doze off at home as he pleased.